Good morning, everyone. Buen domingo a todos. Today is uh, often called in the church uh, Good Shepherd Sunday, and that's because every year on the fourth Sunday of Easter, we hear one of the readings about Jesus, the Good Shepherd, because there are several. He talks about this in the Gospel of John, and it, it's a fairly lengthy uh, discourse of the Lord, and so every year we get a piece of that. Pero es un domingo para la iglesia para enfocarnos sobre el misterio de Cristo, el buen pastor, y, uh, y, y la obra de este pastor. Y cada, cada año, el cuarto domingo de la Pascua, se medita, se anuncia, se predica sobre el, el oficio de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, el buen pastor. And I would like to speak a little bit about that, but I would like to do this by way of looking at the second reading. Quiero enfocar un poquito de atención sobre la segunda lectura, que también es de San Juan. It's also from, from the evangelist John, but it's from his um, first letter, which is a beautiful letter, which really one should read just meditatively uh, frequently. Es una carta de San Juan uh, maravillosa. And I think it will help us maybe to appreciate something about what the gospel is telling us. First of all, in his letter, St. John says, see what love the Father has bestowed on us. It's kind of, es una aclamación. Ah, es como reconocer la grandeza del amor. Miren cuánto amor nos ha tenido el Padre. He, he's talking to his little flock because there was a small communities in those days when the evangelist was preaching, but they were around him, and he's, he's sort of like announcing to them just to behold, no, behold, which is a nice English word. We don't use it very much, probably because we don't do it very much. Miren, contemplen, dense cuenta, notice, look at it. Fíjense. It's a lot of different ways you could say that, but behold, is one way, and it's kind of helpful, but see, the English translation says, see what love the Father has bestowed on us. When he says see, he's asking his little flock, which is also us, no, porque también el evangelista se dirige a nosotros. What is he talking about? What, should, what are we supposed to see? ¿Qué es lo que debemos de, de, de mirar en, eh, cuando anuncia esto? Because he's asking us to see the love. Nos invita el apóstol a ver el amor que el Padre nos ha tenido. Where do we see that? His little flock knows, and I hope and I think most of us, we know. Miren, we're supposed to look at something. Hay que ver algo. And what is really... Perhaps one of the best ways to describe succinctly what he's asking us to look at is, miren el buen pastor que entregó su vida por sus ovejas. Look at the good shepherd, who is Christ the Lord, who gives his life for his sheep. That is what shows us the greatness of the Father's love. Este es, en resumen, todo el misterio de nuestra salvación. All the mystery of our salvation is sort of Included in that, in that look, behold. Now, the apostle thinks it's important for us to look at this, no? And not by like, like looking at a newspaper, no? Es como leer un periódico en la mañana, no? O internet, no? Pior tantito. Uh, it's not that. It's something which I think we know how to do, but, but maybe we don't do it enough. This thing that's referred to in behold. And that is to stop and just look at it. It, what is it? The mystery of God's love for us. Where is that? It's in Christ. So see him. Con el ojo de la mente, with the eye of the mind. St. John is rightly described as the 
contemplative apostle. They're all contemplatives, believe me, because they couldn't write what they wrote if they weren't contemplatives, but, because that's how the Holy Spirit inspired them. But, but in a particular way, he wants us to, to spend moments saboreando la grandeza del misterio. John thinks it's important that we do this frequently. And then he says something to us. After that, it's a short reading, the second reading. Queridos, beloved, we are God's children now. Ah, este es el fruto de la obra del buen pastor. We, this is the fruit of the work of the, of the good shepherd. We are God's children now. See, he, he wants us to go from the way God has shown his love and what that has resulted in. Que aquí estamos una comunidad muy pequeña, pero somos los amados del Padre. We are God's children now. We are the beloved of the Father because we are children in the Son. To recognize the work of the Good Shepherd is to recognize how we have been pulled in to the love that the Father has for the Son. Nosotros somos hijos, hijas del Padre en el Hijo. Cristo Jesús. Es el fruto de la obra. This is the work. This is what, in another place that St. John will describe as, this is what happens when Jesus' side is pierced on the cross. Sale agua, ¿no? Y sangre, porque es el fruto de nuestra redención. Y nos, y nos cae sobre nosotros. And it, the blood and the water flow on us and makes us a part of Jesus' relation to the Father. Esta es la grandeza de la identidad cristiana. This is the greatness of the Christian identity, who we are, bautizados, confirmados con el Espíritu Santo, y convulgados. We are pulled in by this mystery into the fullness of sharing the relationship between Jesus and the Father is now our relationship. La relación que el Hijo tiene con el Padre es nuestra relación, porque a través de la obra de entregar su vida al buen pastor. Somos hijos e hijas del Padre. Now, the apostle thinks this is very important. Do we? Es una pregunta, ¿no? Que el apóstol San Juan dice, para él esto es esencial y de suma importancia. Y la pregunta de un, para un cristiano moderno, un católico hoy es, ¿nos importa a nosotros? Do we behold the mystery that we now share in? Do we appreciate it, saborearlo? I don't know how you do that in English, saborearlo. You, you, kind of, you could taste it in your soul. Es tan gran cosa. It's such a great thing to be now children of the Father. And it was given to us at the price of the life of the Good Shepherd. Es la dignidad de los bautizados. It's the dignity of the baptized. It's what gives us access to the Eucharist. Because from the very first moments of the life of the church, 1 Corinthians, the early fathers, the baptized then partake of the flesh and the blood of the Savior. And he nourishes us. That's who we are. When? And then, que es tan bonita esta carta. This, uh, it's a beautiful letter. Really should read the whole thing. It's kind of short. St. John kind of didn't, didn't write long, long. Paul wrote long, long letters. John was kind of short. And that's, that's because he could, had a different way. But he says at the end, after he says we are God's children now, and then he says, we do not know. He says, what we shall be has not yet been revealed. Look, he says, we do not know that. That's what he says. Voy a buscarlo. Es que no se ha manifestado como seremos al fin. It hasn't been shown to us what it'll be like at the end. You know, es que estamos en camino and hay un fin. 
And what he's talking about there, ¿qué significa esto? Que no, no sabemos cómo será, seremos al fin, how we will be, we don't know how we will be at the end. He means in the glory of the resurrection, in the glory of, the, of heaven, we don't know how it's going to be. We can hardly even imagine that. We know we'll arise in the flesh and we know that we will be in the communion of the saints in the presence of Almighty God face to face. That we know, pero eso no dice mucho, but that really doesn't tell you a lot, except that it's really beyond our comprehension. Pero esto es lo que dice. He goes on to say, which I think is an important way to understand what John is trying to say to us. Cuando él se manifieste, when, when Jesus shows himself in the final glory, Vamos a ser semejantes a él. We will be like him. Really? Because we will see him as he is. Porque lo veremos tal cual es. We will be like him. So don't worry about what it's like at the end because it will be glorious like him. Christ. He's not talking about some vague God up there sitting on a throne. He's talking about Christ Jesus in glory. And he's saying you will see him as he is and you will be like him. Lo veremos tal cual es. This is the word, these are the words of a man who longs to see the glory of the risen Christ. In eternity. Esto es su deseo. No, this is his. Vamos a ser semejantes a él. Porque lo veremos tal cual es. This is the inheritance of the children of God. La herencia de los hijos de Dios. Es estar en camino hasta llegar a verlo tal cual es. To the dignity of the baptized, the dignity of the children of God, the dignity of those who live in the life of Christ, in the grace of the, that is given to us, is to be on the road to see the glory of God as he is. Suena más fuerte en tal cual es, no? But as he is. Vuelvo. ¿Nos importa esto? Does it matter to us? that that's where we're going? I think so, but, but maybe you say, well, sí, 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 a mí me importa, pero es que no, es que no sé cómo, I don't know how to, how do I prepare myself for that? Pues, ¿qué es lo que debo de hacer para poder caminar there? Because, you know, life is very busy, and life in the world is like, like every day it seems like it's falling apart more and more, but then the world has always been on the verge of falling apart for the last several thousand years. But, but the fact is we're, It's, 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 we go, I, we don't have, I don't, how do I get ready for this? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? De entender que la vida cristiana de los bautizados es proceder a en un camino para ver a Cristo y la, y la eternidad de, del Padre y el Espíritu Santo tal cual es. And be like him, semejantes a él. See, I, I want us, because I think it, Because I think it's important. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about it. No, porque no hablamos de esto tanto. Maybe to kind of help fill this in, we go to the gospel. It's something Jesus says. Yo soy el buen pastor, dice el Señor. This is el Evangelio, no? I am the good shepherd, the Lord says, porque conozco a mis ovejas, because I know my sheep. Y ellas me conocen a mí. And they know me. And I give my life for my sheep. El buen pastor desea pastorearnos, ¿no? The good shepherd leads us through the difficulties of life, and he says, and they shall hear my voice because they know me. 
and we want to follow in the way of the Good Shepherd, but we have to know him. Pero si queremos reconocer su voz y queremos seguir su camino, hay que conocer a Jesús. Before we start moving anywhere behind the shepherd, antes de poder caminar con nuestros pies detrás del buen pastor, tenemos que conocerlo. We have to know him. Because nobody gets up and moves unless they know and want to be where he is. And so before the feet move, the heart and the mind have to move. No? Antes de moverse uno de, con sus pies, before getting in the car, before you, you, you move with your feet, antes de, de, de caminar con los pies detrás del buen pastor, hay que caminar la mente en el corazón. Es un camino de la mente, and I want to talk about this a little bit to close this up a little bit because I've kind of got along. Uh, the, the way of the good shepherd has to be in our mind. Miren, el amor del Padre. Look, it's the mind that sees and the heart that sees. So it's a very practical thing, actually, actually, that I think we need to be kind of at least hoping to cultivate. How much, I make this question to myself and I make it to the church. How much do we think about Jesus and his great love for us in the Father during the week? ¿Qué tanto tiempo pasamos durante la semana pensando en la grandeza del amor manifestado en Cristo crucificado? It's just a question. Because we love what we most think about. And we think about what we most love. La pregunta es, si pensamos en lo que amamos, si nunca pensamos en Cristo, ¿cómo podemos decir que lo amo? Pensar en Cristo es invitar el corazón a seguirlo. And we become more like what we think about. This is just true of us. Pobres seres humanos que somos, nos hacemos semejantes a lo que pensamos. Y si nunca pensamos en Jesús, ¿cómo nos vamos a hacer semejantes a Él? If we never think about Him, how are we going to become like Him? Now I know we're very busy. We all have difficult to kind of manage time and schedules and things like that. But, but you know, I, you know I, I'm kind of busy too. And I'm, I'm not as busy as you are. But, you know, I get in the car and I'm driving the other side of the valley y estoy platicando con el Señor. I get in the car and I drive, and I'm talking to the Lord. Señor, ¿qué vamos a hacer? I ask him that a lot. Lord, what are we going to do? Now, I don't think that should be just the bishop or the priest who do that. If you're going through your day, you can talk to him. You can listen. You can think about him. Señor, necesito ayuda. Yo no sé qué hacer. I don't know what to do, Lord. You're going to have to help me. And he does. Pero es que hay que pensar para moverse uno. If you want to move with Jesus, we have to think of him. And we're going to think about him, and it will help us love him more. And if we love him, the more we will want to think about him. Ay, Señor, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Is he that, he's that close to us? But we just have to notice, Señor. Porque el buen pastor está con nosotros. The good shepherd is with us. We should speak to him. We should think about him. We think about what we love. 
And let's face it, in this world we have to think about a lot of ugly things, but not because we love them. Porque tenemos que, no el mundo tiene sus quehaceres. Pero si amamos a Cristo, lo vamos a, vamos a pensar en Él. And we become what we think about. Hay que pensar en Jesús para ser semejante a Él. Hay que pedirle su ayuda. That's what it means to do, really, what we heard in that first reading. Ay, queridos hijos, this is our one. Miren cuánto amor. Look, think, love, move. Vean con los ojos del corazón. Amen. In weapons. If we don't have time to think even on the way to things, that we need the Lord every moment. Es que necesitamos al Señor para que nos conduzca en camino hacia este momento cuando lo veremos tal cual es. We need to ask him and realize and, so that he can move us along with him. And he will answer you. You speak to him every day, he will answer you. I give testimony to that. He will answer you. Maybe not right away, but he will. And if you talk to him and you think about him and the grandeza del amor, the greatness of his love, when you move with him and he's in your mind, you will become like him. Be careful what you think about because we can't help but become like what we put in our minds. Cuídense con lo que pongan en la mente porque nos hacemos semejantes queriendo o no a lo que pensamos. Pensemos pues en Cristo. Let us think then more of Christ. And the greatness of his love is the good shepherd who lays down his life for us that we might become like him and one day see him as he is, tal cual es. Amen.